So this combo is really good. This man, Cami looks <laughs> like S tier already. Just from looking at this clip. Let me show it to you guys. It's a it's a pretty sick combo. There's a lot going on here. A lot. A lot to break down. This one's spicy. I like that they showed this. Alright, alright, alright. A lot to talk about here. So, as you guys know before, in our previous breakdowns, uh, Kami is able to charge some of her special moves. The heavy version. The hooligan, the spiral arrow, and the cannon spike. And it enhances their properties. And it's showing this here with the hooligan specifically. So it shows her normal hooligan into her fatal leg twister. This is her grab. And it's showing just you no know, normal what it looks like the speed and all that. And now she charges it. And then she's able to combo afterwards. Okay. Now first let's talk about this charge, man. Because this charge. Now we get to see it from start to finish. We we the, the clip kind of skipped to it during the trailer, but now we can see exactly, you know, how many frames it is. And man, it looks just fast enough. Just fast enough where you can use this online. You know, you're gonna get away with some of this unga for sure, dude. I you know, you know what it reminds me of? It's kind of like I, of course, if you're looking for this and you're waiting for it, yeah, you're going to be able to DP this or you're going to be able to, you know, jab punch this out of this. But, you know, Luke, when he charges his heavy knuckle, he can sometimes get away with it. This is kind of the same thing that Kami players are going to be able to do. But the properties of the hooligan itself are insane, man, when you charge this thing. It goes so fast. And remember, from the trailer before, it shows that it goes full screen. It's going to go over fireballs, right? And it's going to be hard to deal with if the Kami player can set this up. Like, let's say Kami knocks you down. And then as you're getting up, then she charges the hooligan. And then you have to hold that somehow, right? Perry's not going to save you because this is a grab that she's doing. And, you know, now that she has actual mix-ups too, because she has uh, the reverse edge, that V-Trigger 2 overhead that she can do from this. And that's all you have to worry about the overhead, so you can't just simply duck it to avoid the throw. And on top of that, she can grab you from the air. I'm assuming it's like Street Fighter V or her previous games, that if you jumped away, she would still lock on and grab you. So this is basically a demon flip, you know? It's a glorified demon flip at this point. This is really sick. I, oh man, it looks so cool too. This is such a cool move, bro. And now we know that this is actually enhancing all of her follow-ups. We, we assumed it did just because it enhanced the, the reverse edge, the double overhead kick. So that means it's going to enhance uh, her dive kick, right? Assuming it will. It's going to enhance, uh, you know when you do the empty hooligan and then she slides on the floor and hits you low? I think it's called like ankle slicer or something. So that might be, that might be sick. It might be able to juggle them and you can DP afterwards kind of like... Uh, the EX version in previous games. Another thing too is that maybe, you know, you don't forget you can cancel Hooligan. It it's not that good in previous games where like she floats for a bit and you'd still get knocked out of it, but maybe you could bait a DP if you canceled it really quickly. But I still think this move is really good. Like a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, it's slow, you're just gonna get DP'd, but now that she has actual mix-ups and a lot of options from this, you know, she can cancel it early, she can dive kick into it. Uh, we don't know what happens if she goes over the opponent's head. Like, if, can she mix you up by going left and right? We don't know what's going to be like after you're knocked down. If you're lying on the ground, where does the hooligan go? Does it just stay up in the air in front of them? Or does it cross you up? There's there's so much to it, you know? So, uh, just this move, this looks amazing on its own. But anyways, yeah, she does the enhanced fail leg twister. So she grabs you and then it puts you into a juggle state. And then she does uh, OD spiral arrow and this is really sick because does her od spiral arrow like always allow like a juggle after it but i don't know let's see so she cancels it into her level two because it's the od version right now we saw her level two before now this is different this was the super that was that uh street fighter anime reference you notice it doesn't go into animation instead she cancels it it's just a hit so I'm assuming, I'm assuming to do that, you probably just like hold down the button. If you hold down the button or something, then she'll recover and it doesn't go into animation. 
It could also be something where uh, if it hits the opponent in the air as a juggle, maybe it doesn't go into animation either. Because in the previous trailer, she did it from a parry. So if you can figure out a way to juggle into this, then she recovers and you can still follow up. And it juggles JP so high up that she's able to charge into uh, a spiral arrow. So this is another charge, heavy version of spiral arrow. And it juggles them again and it side switches. And then she's able to recover. So this is what I'm this is what's weird to me. Like she gets so many combos from her juggles. Like this this spiral arrow that's enhanced. She can like if this was from another combo, would she be able to go into her level two from this? Like would she even need the OD version, right? She can probably cannon spike into this. We saw it before when she did that target combo in the trailer. She did uh OD cannon strike, then OD spiral arrow, and then her OD cannon spike. So it's like she has so much freeform combos and juggles. Like her combo structure looks really good. Really, really good. It's like it's like it doesn't matter if she doesn't have V Trigger 1. You know, these are like part of her normal combos. And remember, these enhanced spiral arrows and all of this, this enhanced hooligan and all these moves, this is not you're not spending any extra meter. She doesn't need stocks like a lot of other characters. This is free. You just simply need to land the big hit. As long as she has the charge time, she can do this. You know, which makes me question, like, what are these moves on block? Like, how good are these moves? This, this, this Capcom want the queen to return, you know? How good do they want Cammy to be? Are we going to go through another seven years of asking for Cammy nerfs, you know? So she side switches. And then she goes into our level one. And uh, I'm not surprised by this because, once again, audio leaks. We know she had the spin drive smasher. And uh, it looks similar. Once again, it's just like a spiral arrow into a DP. But the important thing is that, uh, you know, she side switches and multiple times and she'll have the option to side switch, go for a level one. If she still had drive meter, she can go into, like I said, an OD uh, cannon spike. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot to do here, right? She can even just jump over and just keep the opponent in the corner, right? So her combo structure looks amazing. Uh, Capcom still refuses to show her dive kick for some reason. <laughs> because, but we know she has her dive kick because we saw the screenshot on the main website. I mean, I can show you guys real quick, just so you guys know. But the way she's going to play is going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot more pressure. Because, yeah, like I said, this move looks really telegraphed. But remember, this is from a grab, dude. If, if she catches you sleeping for a second, she's going to do insane deeps. You're going to have to worry now about her movement speed, right? Her movement speed, the, the shimmy game uh dive kicks a lot of things you have to be concerned about and now you have to worry about this move if she gets away with it and she could probably set it up as a meaty and like i said i don't think di will stop this because it's a grab perry is not going to stop this because it's a grab and if you try like i said if you try to crouch this then she has other options she can go into you know the dive kick and b plus she can use the overhead and combo from there from the other try we see she, she pretty much does the same combo there is there is a lot a lot going here like cammy looks really really strong i know we're just looking at a small clip you know i can't tell how op a character is going to be but cammy looks really good you see the screenshot right here see we see the dive kick and you can see there's this red streak here so it's not like she's going from a hooligan and look how high up she is you can see the arch here underneath the bridge and the bus like unless this is a light version of hooligan and it goes like straight up this looks like just like a raw kind of dive kick hitting JP as he's like jumping. So I'm pretty sure she does have it. So right here with this combo, when she goes into her new target combo and the OD cannon strike her dive kick, right? And then she goes OD spiral arrow. You see how high the, the opponent juggles up? They just flip around and then she can juggle into the OD cannon spike. like. She can go into her level one from there, right? She can cancel into her level two. She wants like they show from that clip. Like she has so much flexibility in what she can do, whether she wants to side switch you or go for damage or whatever, right? She could just like let you fall and then go in and then charge up the hooligan, for example. Like she can put you in the blender in this game. So here's the parry straight into the level two, see? She hits JP when he's on the ground and then it goes into animation. Once again, I don't know if this means that you have the choice between canceling it and go for more damage if you want, or if it means just hitting the ground and the opponent goes straight into animation. 
I I think it's it's if you hit the opponent in the air, it won't go into animation. That's what I think it is. But yeah, here's the charged up hooligan again. And but this time, see, she goes for the overhead. I think it's only the first hit that's gonna be an overhead. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Seth's <laughs> uh, axe kick now. I dive kick that uh, Seth had. Anyways, yeah. So even if the opponent crouches, gets hit by the the overhead kick, Cammy can go into heavy punch anyways. And like I said, you're gonna eat damage anyways. And is she gonna? Since she can land heavy punch, does this mean she can go into our target combo from the ground if she's close enough? You know, like she's just a damage machine. You know, Cami players aren't gonna be complaining about not having an overhead anymore. She's a real threat now. So Cami is—I don't know. Cami's perfect in Street Fighter Six. I love her design, man. Like it's all of her moves, everything. It's—it's. It's, she's perfect, dude. She looks so good. This character's gonna be so insanely popular, man. So many, so many players are gonna play her, dude. <laughs> Including myself. She's gonna be one of the first characters that I try out in training mode. The idea was if you crouch the, the air grab from Hooligan, she would get a dive kick and be really, really plus. That was the downside to just crouch blocking. But now in Street Fighter 6, it's like a major threat now. Now you're gonna eat a full combo either way. If you guess wrong on the throw or the overhead, and it's, it's very similar to Akuma's, Akuma's Demon Flip, right? Besides not having an air fireball, you know, maybe that's coming in the next patch at this point. But that is basically how Demon Flip works. It's really obnoxious. Like, it's a, it's like a true mix-up, you know? So, it's kind of scary. It makes me think, man, if this is Kami's Demon Flip, what's Akuma's Demon Flip going to be like, you know? 